about your greatness, Lord. For what you've done for us, Lord. Lord, we ask you now. Accept our prayer, Lord. We ask you now, Lord, to be in our devotion now, Lord. And Lord, we ask you as we brothers stand, be in our walk of life, Lord. Lord, don't let us go astray, Lord. Lord, help us along the way, Lord. Somebody else needs to see you through us, Lord. Somebody needs to be touched, Lord, by your appearance to us, Lord. Help us walk in the way you teach you, Lord. Help us to be instructed the way you have instructed us, Lord. And we just thank you for the opportunity. Lord, bless these members. Lord, we have some that go through some situations, Lord. Don't know what it is, but bless them, Lord. Bless those who have went through some things. We've lost some loved ones along the way. Bless them, Lord. Lord, we're dealing with some sickness and the elderly, Lord. Bless the caregivers right now, Lord. Bless the church that's coming up in this world, Lord. We say this world is this and we say it's that. But let us hold on to our God unchanging hand. Let us hold on to God unchanging power, Lord. That we gonna make it, Lord. No matter what the world throw at us, Lord. Let us keep in our mind that we're going to make it, Lord. Yeah. That we're going to endure to the end, Lord. Yeah. And Lord, we're going to wait on you yeah. as you call us for. Mm-hmm. Now, thank you again for this church. Thank you. Brother, pastor, brother uh, Jackson Chapman, the pastor, Lord. Yes, Lord. Pastor David Young, as he going to uh, deliver the word, Lord. Yeah. Lord, help him minister unto our soul, Lord. Yeah. Help us, Lord, to change our walk, Lord. Yeah. Help him, Lord, to regulate our thoughts, Lord. Help him, Lord, to make us better people this day, Lord. Yeah. Not wait for tomorrow, but when he gives to us, Lord, let us use it, Lord. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Now bless the members that he brought with him, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank him for coming and yeah. celebrating with us through this Thank celebration. Yeah. Bless the pastor of this church, Lord. Pastor Clark, give him strength, Lord, yeah. for weakness, Lord. Uh-huh. Lord, give him will when he's a little bit tired, Lord. Let him know, Lord, that it is your might and your strength that are able him to go, Lord. Uh-huh. Take care of his family, Lord, as he's doing your will, Lord. Yeah. Lord, he ease his mind, Lord, when his load has got too heavy, Lord. Yeah. Let him know, Lord, that you his strength. Yeah. And, Lord, you is his way. Amen. Thank you for the light of this world. Be the light Amen. of this world, Lord. Amen. Thanks for allowing us to be your children, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And thank you again for this day. Yes. We honor you in your name.
Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Come on. Oh, 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 oh,
Hey man, come on, give the Lord another hand clap of praise in this place. We thank God for all of you who are here. Hey man, let me say again, we greet you in the name of our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Hey man. Hey man, so happy to have our guest, hey man, Pastor David Young and some of his members, the Jackson Chapel CME Church. Come on, give them a hand uh, for taking time out of their schedule to be with us and to share. We know um, that they are still uh, doing their service this morning, so we're not going to hold them long. Uh, but Reverend, we are humbled, man, that you forego uh, some of your time uh, to share with us, and we are excited about what God is going to do, amen, through you this morning. Amen. Amen. Our members, amen, you know uh, what we've been asked for. Uh, we pray that you uh, give. Amen. As God has prospered you. Amen. Let us stand. Amen. Let us stand. Let us elevate our gifts and repeat after me, Lord. Bless this seed. Bless this gift that I'm about to give in your name. For your word says, the more I give to you, the more you give to me. In Jesus' name. Amen. at the end of the ocean. Oh, 
Come on, let me show 
Amen, amen, amen. I need thee every hour. I need thee every minute. Every second of the day. Am I right? Amen. I am so elated to be here. Uh, I'm glad that I had an opportunity to come and to share with you on this 137th anniversary. I give honor to our Heavenly Father who doeth all things well. We give honor to His only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, who is our Redeemer. To His precious Holy Spirit, who is our Sustainer. The Bible says I will keep those in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. We give honor to this great pastor here, Pastor Black, to all of the deacons and members here at Bethlehem and to our members from Jackson Chapel. Uh, we're glad for you to be here. My mom and my aunt is here. My cousin is here behind the camera. We just glad to be in your presence. Amen. Amen. Uh, I was talking uh, with Pastor Plyde in the back, and I was telling him that it was good to be home. Uh, after 32 years of pastoring in different areas, it's, I felt like Dorothy on the Wizard of Oz. There's no place like home. Amen. And I looked and I saw many members uh, here that I recognized. And the last one I saw, I got to say this because it was funny. And I was sitting there and I saw this, this gentleman walk by. And he even though he had his mask on, the first word came to my mind was son. S-O-N. He already knew who I'm talking about. He's sitting to my left. Go on, raise your hand. There he is. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind. And then I looked and I saw many friends and uh, many of those that, that I grew up with and those that uh, couldn't quite remember me. I ain't going to say who that is. But anyway, it is good to be here today. Amen, amen, amen. amen. And... Uh, I got one thing that I'm going to say and then I'm going to go on because I'm not going to, going to be long today. But uh, back in 1988, I had a preaching engagement at the old Wheeler Chapel Church. And it was for the uh, community service that we used to have, the Sunday service. And I had this preacher, Brother Johnson, and I had this preacher that came to me, and Pastor, he asked me a question. He said, I get, he, and, and, he, and if, when I tell y'all, when I, I'm going to use his voice to say what he said, and then you'll know who I'm talking about. <coughs> he looked at me and he said, Rev, got one question for you. He said, do you preach like a Baptist or do you preach like a Methodist? <laughs> that was Pastor Green. <laughs> and I just looked at him and I said, well, <clears throat> that depends. So and I left it at that. But I am glad to be here and uh, to celebrate today with you. So if you would, for just a moment, uh, turn your attention uh, to the book of Isaiah, chapter 40. Isaiah, chapter 40. We're going to read from verse 25 through 
31. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 40, verses 25 through 31, and I will be reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. When you found it, let us know by saying amen. amen. And the scripture reads, to, to whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal, said the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things, that bringeth out their host by number. He calleth them all by name, by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power, and not one felleth. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God? Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. God's word for God's people, and the people of God say it, amen. Amen. And let us pray. Our Father God in heaven, we come now, standing before these your people. Standing, Heavenly Father, to break the bread of life. I ask you now, Father, to grant now your preaching power. For I realize as I stand, I can't do anything till you come. Have your way in this place. Come, Holy Spirit, right now. Move all around through Bethlehem and touch each of these, your people. And I ask you now, Father, strengthen me. Take me now and hide me behind your cross that you may show up. For when you show up, you show out. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. For you, Lord, are our strength. And you are our redeemer. And the people of God say it. Amen. 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 We want to give you a brief introduction and as we come on this 137th anniversary there are many things that could have been said there are many things that could have been done and I count it joy because he could have asked anybody to come and to uh, bring this message this morning, but I am grateful that I had this opportunity. And as I began, uh, it would have been easy to begin like many of us are familiar with. Hymns like, we come this far by faith, trusting in the Lord, trusting in his Holy Word, He never failed us yet. Or maybe one of the more modernized songs that says, after all I've been through, I still have joy. This would probably be a great way to start a church anniversary message. Or maybe I could start by giving you some mind boggling numbers. Right. 137 years 
or 1,644 months, or 50,005 days, or 1,200,120 hours, or 72 million, 7,200 minutes, or 288,432,000 seconds. Good God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Even with these statistics, it still doesn't give us the magnitude of how good God has been to Bethlehem. But sometimes it's just good to reflect, and sometimes it's just good to look back and just be thankful. So if I could talk to you today for just a few moments, I want to talk to you on the thought down through the years the Lord has been good to us. Down through the years the Lord has been good to us. Look at somebody and say, he's been good to me. In our text, Isaiah presents a question where God says, who shall you compare me to? Who is my equal? In other words, who else can get the credit for what has been done for 137 years? You don't survive this long, Bethlehem, uh, except the Lord be with you. I mentioned that it is good to Reflect, son. I, I, in doing so, we get an idea of how blessed we are and also an idea how things could have been. Right. Have you ever wondered why things turned out the way that they did? Uh -huh. Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, let's take a look. First, let's go back a little bit. Now I'm going to mess somebody up. Can I preach this plot? I may be out of line, but back in 1979, Minnie Ruppertin sang a song entitled, Back Down Memory Lane. Oh, I wish I had somebody. See, so too often we get in church and we act like we've been in church all our life. Oh, I wish I had somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody probably is talking about, well, I don't listen to that stuff no more. Or I used to listen to it. Or I've never done it before. But I stopped by to tell you, you either in something or you going into something or you coming out of something. So she says here that we need to go back down memory lane. Most certainly, all of these years, there are a lot of memories. For the church to have survived all these years, it took a lot of praying folk. Amen. Am I right? Yes, sir. And when I got here this morning, I was sitting there a few minutes, and then I, I heard, heard some old, old devotion songs going on. And, I, and I, that's when I told her, I said, man, I love them old devotion songs. You don't hear that too much no more. He said, Doc, they do it all the time here. I said, well, I'm in the right place. But it took a lot of praying folk. It took some folk that trusted in God. Yeah. It took some good leaders that didn't give, give up but kept on pressing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some folk singing that I just can't give up now. Right. I come too far from where I started from. Yeah, yeah. Nobody told me that the road would be easy, but I don't believe that he brought me this far to leave me. Well, I wish I had somebody that know that he brought you from a mighty, mighty long way. And that song, and I still have joy, there is one part that really comes to my mind when the songwriter said that it was down through the years. <laughs> I wish I had somebody because I want to preach this thing that the Lord had to come and dry my tears. Anybody ever had to cry sometimes? Anybody ever had to go through trials and tribulations? 
should make the Lord stop by to see about you. Isaiah reminded us as we fast forward to the 28th verse when it proposes another series of questions. Isaiah said, have you not known? Have you not heard? See, Isaiah is asking that on a personal question uh, agenda. Because somebody needs to know that it's not about everybody else, but you got to know for yourself. Yes, we, we know that he brought us, but you can hear somebody else say that he brought us. But, but every now and then, you need to tell somebody he brought me from a mighty long way. I, I don't know about grandmama. I don't know about granddad. I don't know about my sister. I don't know about my brother, but, but I know that he brought me from a mighty long way. Have you not known, have you not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the end of the earth, he doesn't faint, nor does he draw weary. There's no searching for his understanding. What are you telling me, Isaiah? Isaiah is telling us that that creator that we worship, that creator that we talk about, that creator that makes us raise our hand, that creator that makes us pat our feet, that creator that put dancing in our feet, that creator that put crap in our hand, that creator that put songs in our heart, he never gets tired because I can tell you that over 137 years that he never grew tired. Somebody say, the Lord is blessing me right now. Yes, verse 29 says he gives power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increases their strength. Have you ever been powerless? Have you ever felt like your whole world was tumbling down? But somehow, some way, you fell down on your knees. And you went back and started to sing one of those old hymns that said, Father, I stretch my hands unto thee. No other help that I know. And thou wilt withdraw thyself from me. Oh, brother, shall I go? I feel, I feel, I feel, Rabboni, I feel right now that we're about to get the picture. That down through the years, God has been good to Bethlehem. But just in case you need a little bit more help, verse 30 says, even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And if we could go on, but the third one says, but, I got to pause there, but, but in the case there's a change somewhere. See, because when you get stuck, when you get in trouble, you feel like all help is gone. But then somebody said, but they that wait upon the Lord. But they that wait while praying. But they that wait while trusting. But they that wait while crying. But they that wait sometimes disappointed. They that wait sometimes burdened down. They that wait sometimes sick in their body. But I dare say, but if you just wait upon the Lord, he shall renew your strength. They will not up on wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Yes, 
down through the years. It took some folk waiting upon the Lord. The reason, the reason I know is because you are still here. I believe uh, that the songwriter uh, put it plainly when he said these words. Through it all, I learned to depend on Jesus. I learned to depend on God. And I've had many tears and sorrows. And I've had questions for tomorrow. There have been times that I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave me and God a good God and my trial only come to make me strong and God a good God I'm making it now I'm getting ready to leave you alone but I want you to know the songwriter said I've been from the rock to praise it
anything good to it. Did he know anything good? Don't fool me now. Did he know anything good? Did he bring it? Did he bring it? Did somebody still sitting down there? There got to be something wrong with it. Did he bring it? Thank you. 